Hi Men Club, my name is Theo Randall and here we are at Theo Mistral at the Grand Stanford Intercontinental Hong Kong. The reason I've chosen Hong Kong to open a restaurant here is because 15 years ago I came here and I thought what a wonderful place, I would love to open a restaurant here and now I've been given the opportunity so it was quite easy decision. I felt my restaurant in Hong Kong should be quite casual because there's lots of great fine dining restaurants in Hong Kong and I felt a more casual rustic style restaurant would suit the dining scene very, very well. Theo Mistral is all about delicious, simple Italian food using great ingredients. We're going to be very strong on uh, making fresh pasta. We've got beautiful things like capoletti di vitello, uh, ravioli di abete with different types of greens and ricotta. We will do a wonderful linguine aragosta, lobster linguine, which we, is a sign signature dish in London. So lots of signature dishes in London that we've been uh, making over the years and just been fine tuning them hip here for the Hong Kong market. So we get the rustic flavour in our dishes by using uh, really delicious ingredients. I mean, we're getting a lot of ingredients from Italy. We're trying to get some uh, by local produce. I mean, for instance, we uh, made a dish today with artichokes, which were local artichokes. And it's all about using the uh, Italian kitchen, the, the methods of Italian kitchen, uh, which is simple and not overcomplicating the dish and not using too, um, too much seasoning or making things too complicated. So it's all about the quality of the ingredients to give it that rusticity. We get a rustic flavour in lots of the dishes, particularly the guinea fowl dish, which is a, a, a guinea fowl which has been boned out and is stuffed with prosciutto and mascarpone, uh, Amalfi lemon and thyme, and that's roasted on a bruschetta, so all the juice goes into the bread and you get this lovely, rich, aromatic flavour. Also the capoletti di vitello, the veal pasta, with porcini mushrooms. It's got that very earthy kind of taste and it's mixed with butter and garlic and parsley. It's real pungent flavours. I haven't got an Italian bone in my body, but I have an Italian soul. And as a child, we used to go on holiday to Italy and my parents would take us to these restaurants and I fell in love with the whole Italian style of cooking. And then having worked at the River Cafe and worked at Chez Panisse in California, picked up these amazing uh, ideas about the quality ingredients and spent a lot of, over the years, lots of time going to Italy and eating in Italy and traveling. And so Italian food really is a passion of mine. And to cook Italian food, it's all about passion and making sure that you stick to the methods and not overcomplicate things. Less is more.